So welcome everyone to the Documentation Special Interest Group. Our agenda for today looks like this. Let's see, Oleg, can you see my screen all right? Mm, yeah, it works. <laughs> it works. That's a great answer. I like that. Okay, thanks. All right, topics on our agenda for today include a, a review of previous action items, uh, Google Summer of Docs retrospective action proposals was proposed. Any or community bridge was proposed as a topic. Then I'd like to do a demo of the latest Jenkins.io improvements from Spinnak Konechny. A uh, mm -hmm. bunch of really cool changes that have been made. We've got Docs inf SIG infrastructure status report, the plugin site, and then latest data on contributors to the site. And those were the topics that I wanted to be sure we covered. Are there other topics that need to be added to the agenda? Um, no, I think it's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe one, uh, some bits about my topics. So regarding community bridge pro project status, uh, actually I have performed status update uh, one week ago or two weeks ago at the advocacy and the outreach seek. And yeah, again, I'm waiting for recording to be published. So maybe it's, it makes sense to review it together with stakeholders uh, once the video is published. Because, yeah, otherwise I could do the same demo again, if you want. Okay. No, I th so I think that's a good one. We should just, how about we give me an action item um, to link to the SIG, to that SIG's recording when it's available. Mm, yeah. No, yeah, basically I can show it probably yeah. just a second i'm checking my uh, login yeah i think i can demo that okay all right that's great if you'd be willing that's that's wonderful let's take that then We'll just capture oh. that. Okay, yeah, I'll just uh, show uh, some bits. Okay, mm, yeah. All right, so then, great, all right. So let's go ahead then on the action items. I've still got the action item open to submit the docs project ideas as a pull request. That's just a gathering exercise for me. I will get it done. Um, Oleg, on the Google Summer of Doc retrospective action proposals, I had not captured any notes, major notes. I think we intentionally deferred. Do you want to defer again? What, how would you like to handle that one? Yeah, good question. So I think that uh, I also need to go through the history because yeah, I basically forgot what we agreed on. One of the action items is actually community bridge, which we should be talking about below anyway. And the other action items were rather about uh, having uh, established Docker green teams and uh, starting to do it in advance or something like that. Great. So let's. Yeah, could let's... you please add action item for me? Oh. Uh -huh. I'll do it my, on my own if you want. Sorry, I just forgot that uh, the document is also <laughs> open for me. Got it. Well, I did. I need to practice adding action items. So thanks for letting me do that. That's great. Yeah. No worries. Oh, you just need to know all the uh, personal emails of people. Right. Exactly. Okay. So then on to the community bridge topic. Yeah. Uh, so community bridge, I can probably just uh, screen share it and show what you have. Uh, because let's see, and that means I need to stop sharing. There we go. You have, you should be able to share now. Yeah, I should be able. Okay. Uh, do you see my screen? I do. Oh, okay. So yeah, community bridge portal. Um, yeah, what? Show what was going on and redirect me to a bit of a strange page. 
uh, yeah, Community Bridge is a portal deployed by Linux Foundation in order to help uh, uh, connecting um, uh, various uh, participants of open source projects, in particular uh, people who are interested in mentorship, people who are interested to contribute in, uh, and who are looking for mentors, and also uh, company and individual sponsors who want to, to facilitate some projects. So basically it's a combination of uh, project hosting portal uh, and crowdfunding site. And yeah, uh, this site uh, has been started uh, several months ago. It's still uh, under active development. Uh, but uh, there is a number of projects uh, which are already uh, listed there. So you can see them here. Uh, but yeah, the most of the projects look pretty similar. So uh, there are some projects which propose proposals or which just propose to connect to the organization if you want to do something. And then, uh, yeah, the way it's for people to join uh, Mentis. And here's, for example, uh, information about the Menti funding. So here we can see that, uh, uh, for example, Hyperledger for this project, they have found uh, funding for one mentor, uh, for one Menti, and they're looking for more. And pretty uh, much like this bed. Uh, so yeah, you may see that there are two different uh, implementations. So one, for example, Hyperledger, they have one project posting for per project. So for example, here configuration for project management and construction or something like that. So it's uh, one approach which is being used on the site. Another approach is just to have one project for the communities, which means that whomever joins, uh, they're welcome to join. And yeah, right now there is no information for mentors, so there is no information for mentees. So yeah, this is the kind of stuff, but yeah, having uh, this stuff is also important. Uh, and we have actually the same stuff for Jenkins somewhere. Uh, account, my projects. So yeah, it's listed on the list. So yeah, we have uh, Jenkins project. Uh, I just spent some time in order to create a stop. So here again, you can see that we have no mentors list. I'm not sure why, because I'm listed as mentor. Uh, there is no mentors found. Uh, again, I'm not sure why, because if you follow the Gitter chart, one of our contributors actually applied as a mentee. But yeah, basically this is what we have. So just a portal which offers, okay, if you want to contribute to Jenkins, feel uh, free to reach, uh, us, uh, reach out to us and we will see what we can do. What I was about proposing is to consider splitting it to multiple projects. For example, uh, Jenkins dash documentation or so. So for example, yeah, since we don't participate in Google Seasonal Docs, we could have a dedicated project uh, target, which targets uh, Jenkins documentation. Uh, another, yeah, or we could just uh, make it uh, more specific in the project. So yeah, for example, here, yeah, here it's now Jenkins or so. And yeah, so that's it. Uh, yeah, setting up a program uh, is uh, pretty long, but yeah, if needed, we can do so. Or we can just, for example, attract uh, more mentors here. For example, you, Mark, if you consider to be a mentor in some conditions, I can just invite you to this site. And uh, so on, we can just uh, review options and uh, maybe kick off some kind of the program in the future. Great. So yes, I would like to be a mentor. And so... Uh -huh. Uh, mark.earl.wait at gmail.com. Okay, something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. I uh, guess. So, yeah, I'm just adding you as a mentor. And then uh, theoretically, you will uh, get an invitation to this portal. And, yeah. So uh, that's it. So regarding requirements, actually, I just set uh, common requirements. So we, we require a person to reach out to us to have conversation and to send us a kind of introductory letter, but that's it. So we don't have academic restrictions due to obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. And yep, yeah, that's it. Nice, okay. Yeah, so the tricky point about that is that I wasn't able to find any example of a working program on Community Bridge. So the site is under development, some bits don't seem to work, but well, 
For example, for Google uh, season of talks and for documentation special interest group, you could probably try putting several projects here. Uh, one of the projects is, for example, Jenkins. We can uh, do Jenkins documentation. We can do Jenkins X documentation if somebody wants to. And uh, then uh, we will have a set of projects which we can uh, later advertise, for example, by community channels or whatever. And, but now you indicated that there have been some surprises because it's currently the application itself, Community Bridge is, inactive, is actively being developed. Is Yeah, I'm not sure how actively, but uh, there are just uh, many gaps. Uh, yeah, for example, we have application here. Oh, good. Okay. And, yep. and that was one that was just recently discussed in Gitter. Okay. Yeah, so that's why I don't think it's private because yeah, the application is here. I won't go inside, but yeah. Uh, so there is some application, uh, there is a kind of uh, cover letter here. Uh, yeah. So for example, here we can uh, probably do something in order to, yeah, for example, pending. We can right, okay. Something like that. And yeah, we will be working with Sladin in order to get everything uh, in place. And yeah, we can have uh, more applications like that. Thank you. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. All right, it looks very promising. Yeah, so I'm not sure how far uh, this community breach is going to go, but yeah, I think the platform today is managed by Linux Foundation. And I believe uh, it means that uh, they mean business. So yeah, I think that we could uh, try using this platform. Obviously, we have uh, open issues, uh, for example, about funding. Um, because yeah, you may see that uh, there are crowd funding features are there uh, but for us uh, these features are not accessible at the moment because in order to yep yeah, so yeah there is some funding uh, so in order to get uh, Jenkins here and uh, uh, to get uh, this funding we need uh, to be a part of the core infrastructure project just a second uh, yeah. so uh, core infrastructure yeah core infrastructure initiative so it's uh, another program by linux foundation basically it's an aggregation of uh, various uh, uh, companies uh, which try to push uh, towards uh, like a system uh, for uh, core projects including core open source projects for example there is a batch program which is designed specifically for open source communities in order to match criteria of core in, uh, infrastructure and uh, get uh, the project listed on the list. So for example, uh, there are some requirements which we have already reviewed a bit with uh, uh, Jenkins security team. So it's not exactly trivial to uh, get uh, Jenkins in this project, but you may see that uh, there is quite a list here. Right. We are having Jenkins as a part of core infrastructure project. Firstly, it's a pretty good uh, quality metric. Uh, it's a pretty good uh, thing for promotion for us. Uh, so yeah, I think it would be interesting uh, if the project is ready to invest time. So this would be a this would be an extra level effort, and it would be project wide across the large portion or bigger portions of the Jenkins project. You said security would have. Does this also have some requirements on infrastructure that we've got to? Do some safeguards against our current infra or no it's mostly about security processes okay right. yeah there are some uh, stories uh, in the list i don't remember you uh, a member of security team i believe or maybe I, not. Am, I am not i okay. don't think i am anyway yeah but yeah basically uh, there are some requirements today which require uh, strict review because jenkins uh, security processes are dependent in a different way mm. I so, for example, there are some expectations for disclosure time and other things, uh, which is uh, fine, but yeah, we need to ensure that we comply with this process. So, for us, funding is not available at the moment, and we would need to do to work on that in order to get that. And yeah, for example, uh, one of advantages is that uh, currently Linux Foundation offers diversity program and other things and that they actually double funding for particular uh, areas etc mm -hmm. okay so yeah that's what we have but yeah basically we need mentors and we need uh, people who would be interested in the area
Great, thank you. So enlisting, enlisting mentors is something that shouldn't be too hard to do, uh, inviting people. Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anything else? Mm, any questions? Nothing, no other question for me. It looks very promising. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for that. So Oleg, you had mentioned that you might not be able to remain for the call. Thanks for that coverage on Community Bridge. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can uh, hang around, but yeah, there will be, uh, so yeah, if you plan to present these demos, I'm happy to listen. Okay. Yeah, and I, that, that was my next stop was I wanted to, I wanted to highlight some really impressive work from Sprina Konechny that he's done for the Jenkins.io site in the time period since the creation of the doc sig. Um, it's, he's done really some quite nice infrastructure improvements. So for instance, social media pages, social media now includes images from the pages like this one. And here you go, this Jenkins needs you came just because I shared a page on the on from the Jenkins.io site, thanks to his integration of open graph and images. So if someone shares, if someone creates a new blog post, they can provide their own image that heightens the engagement of people in the social media community. And this particular one, let me highlight a specific cap specific feature of that particular blog post or that particular item. Mm -hmm. So, for me, that was a, that's a very nice addition. Then he's also done some nice fixes in terms of the layout on the pages when we embed videos. It used to be that this Jenkins and Android page had a very poor layout for where the video clips were placed, fixed. Looks much better now. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, he's added author pages. So if we want to see, let's take Oleg. We're going to look at everything Oleg has written and here's his author page on the Jenkins.io site now, automatically generated, uh, automatically maintained, shows all of the blog posts that were posted by him over time, and includes his biographical information. Same thing exists for Roman Rodriguez Gill, for instance, and his, his contributions, recent contributions. So the author page has been a nice addition that, that Jbinek made to it those same author pages are also linked into our special interest group pages. So the DocSig, for instance, lists a number of participants and members. And here, if we look, oh, let's see, Rick is a, is a participant. And if I click that link, it takes me to his author page. So yeah. Rick highlights uh, one problem. Uh, well, not a problem. Uh, because yeah, Rick uh, has uh, had Chinese symbols in his metadata. So before that, we had no problem because uh, we were showing GitHub ID by default. But uh, when uh, the change was applied, uh, now uh, we see uh, his Chinese name and Chinese symbols. Uh, personally, I have no problem with that because uh, uh, but uh, yeah, there was some difference in behavior. We've seen it for multiple people. Ah, okay. Now, is that something that needs a fix then, or is the new state acceptable? I think the new state is acceptable, and then we can polish it if needed. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks for the insight. So the, the author pages, and then there have been accessibility improvements for people who are using screen navigation that may be visually impaired, for instance. So, for instance, on this page, tabbing now has behaviors that you might expect as you navigate through. Hey, I can tab here, I can tab up and down, open a page by hitting enter, tab in that page, I can cause that tab to move down. And so accessibility has been improved by virtue of tab navigation being better. Now there's again still work to be done in those areas. Always we'll find new surprises. He also fixed the Blue Ocean page. It had a, uh, a completely different styling 
than the other pages on the site and so was missing this block at the bottom that is standard on every other page we had that's now fixed. And the special interest group mailing lists are now automatically generated and placed onto the mailing list page. So this mailing list page lists the Jenkins user page, it lists jam pages, other discussion lists, and now at the bottom, the special interest group mailing list generated directly from the, uh, the list of special interest groups that are maintained on, on the Jenkins.io site itself. So really nice additions from Spinnick. So grateful for what he's done for us. Any questions on, on that topic? No, thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks for summarizing that because yeah, I think we is something we should make regular and maybe even start doing uh, some change logs and announcements for, for the Jenkins website. So similarly to what uh, we are doing for this drafter, maybe we could apply it to some infrastructure components. So then, for example, once per month or so, we could just uh, post a uh, virtual release and highlight on all contributions and uh, yeah, maybe even brag about it uh, in the social media. Right, and I, I think those are all motivational things that help inspire people, hey, it's worth helping and show just how much progress we're making. I assume that the, one of the next upcoming places where we're going to see progress is on the plugin site because we have a pending pull request that improves the plugin site and lots of interesting discussions on the, on the Gitter channel, or no, on the dev list actually, about things that we can do to make the plugin site better. So there is a, an improvement doc here where we're trying to capture some ideas and we've already got our first pull request that's proposing to improve the, the reliability of the scripts that generate the plugin site. And what Spinek noted was that he's decreased the failure rate from about 10% of pages failing to something now on the order of 1% of pages failing to generate correctly. Yeah, one more topic about uh, the release site. I'm sure, am I audible now? Uh, so one uh, problem is uh, Jenkins I/O site nowadays that basically this site isn't really maintained. I mean, uh, it has been originally developed for Jenkins 2.0, uh, but yeah, it was three years ago already, and uh, since at that times uh, there was no active maintainers for this component, which uh, impacted a lot of our efforts. But yeah, for example, now there is a developer mailing list thread from uh, Gavin. Uh, about uh, having um, uh, uh, GitHub releases uh, posted on the website. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so maybe we will be able to recover the effort. But last time I was checking whether it makes sense to do something about this site, I discovered that uh, there is no nobody maintaining that and basically no interest to get uh, the changes integrated by the infrastructure team. Good. Yeah, so, and I think, I think the, the pull request that, that Spinnick has submitted is one that I think I want to review. I know that Daniel Beck had commented on it. Hey, he's not sure when he'll be able to review it, but I think I'd like to review it, test drive it, and see if I could then use that test drive to propose to Daniel, hey, let's merge it, it's working well for me. But that's because I, I would love to have some improvements to the plugin site, but you're right, it needs, we've got to, we're going to have to have people willing to do it. Thank you. So I don't have anything particularly to report on the DocSig infrastructure status report. One item that is required for a special interest group is it needs to report to the governance meeting. And the governance meetings lately haven't been happening, so I assume that that requirement will be lifted or I'll send it by email as a summary or we'll rely on these meeting notes. Yeah, I think uh, we should be just sending summaries to the developer mailing list. Or maybe writing blog posts. If, for example, here you have a list of things uh, you change it on the Jenkins website. Maybe even it's even blog postable. Mm -hmm. uh, he definitely worth sending it to the mailing list. 
right? We'll do, let me put that as an action item for me. Okay, got it. Yeah, thank you. So as a final item, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> no worries. Excuse me. As a final item, I wanted to sh highlight some data on contributors to the site. I've been capturing this data, and the Cloud Native Computing Foundation added the Jenkins.io doc site to their Grafana based um, data collection site where they're collecting. Uh, various metrics and gathering them on on uh, open source projects. And one of the ones that we see here is, I can show it in the, the, the fold context, is time from opened to merge. So how long does it take to, for a pull request to arrive in the queue on average and then be merged into the site? And what you see, this is a 90 day view. And what it shows us, the middle line is that median time from open to merge. And in the last 90 days, we've had a, an improvement where we were at points earlier on the between 10, 10 up to over 10 hours between submission and merge as the median. We've now decreased that to more like on the order of something over an hour. So for me, there's an improvement. And this graph seems to indicate a real improvement. The CNCF site provides other metrics like this, and there's a hyperlink in the graph if anyone is interested in taking a look at it. Now, is, does this tell the whole story? No, there aren't any software metrics that tell the whole story. So don't, don't put too much credence into any specific measurement. But it was fun to see that. In addition, we've got measurements that show we've got more contributors arriving. Over the last month, we've had additional authors contributing that hadn't contributed previously. So I think we're getting some growth and some development in the Jenkins.io site. Those were all the topics that I had for this meeting. Unless there are other topics, Oleg, I propose we close the meeting. Oh, sorry, uh, there is no uh, topics for me right now. Maybe what we could consider for the next meeting, or maybe uh, doing joint meetings with advocacy and outreach, seek for example. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Mm. It looks like half of the content here is uh, actually about advocacy and outreach. Uh, so yeah, maybe we could uh, do some uh, collaboration there. Good idea. That's a good suggestion. Uh, I'm not sure that this meeting itself is being especially effective. And so con collaborating with the outreach SIG may be a much better result. Just give a brief summary there of progress. I don't want to disband. I think we're the right, doing the right thing and we're getting the right results. But the meeting itself doesn't seem to be helping with that objective. So. Well, uh I think that meeting is helpful, but yeah, the goal is to have more uh, people on the call. And now since we don't do Google season of docs, we and uh, we don't have any full-time contributors to documentation in the Jenkins community. It means that uh, yeah, we either uh, encourage people like Zbinek or other to participate, and we get a regular uh, set of people who participate. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we just uh, collaborate with other special interest groups in order to again have more stakeholders here. Right, right, and that may be the that's a good point that other special interest groups might need just the benefit of a reminder. Hey, if you document what you've got or blog post about it, you can help your your special interest group and the docs effort. Yeah. Great. For me, it's also a kind of meeting fatigue because yeah, now with Google Summer Code, etc., I have more than 10 community meetings every week, so yeah. 
Right, understandably, but, but thank you very much for your contribution. You're doing great things for us. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So I'm gonna stop sharing and end the recording. Okay.